And we are underway. Ray Flores, Showtime Sean Porter, Jordan Plant here in Los Angeles. A matchup between two unbeaten middleweights. Already you're seeing the jab come out by Edward Ortiz, who claims that is his best punch. For Vidal, every single opponent that he's fought has tasted the canvas. Just one of his adversaries has gone the distance with him, and that be Nicholas Palacios back in August of 2019 in his native home country of Uruguay. I'm seeing it now. That was the thing I saw on, on film of Vidal. Doesn't waste energy. Doesn't waste his punches. Eventually, the jab's going to start to come out, and he's going to try to line up that straight right hand. Well, the whole camp of Vidal, they are quite amazed by his will and the life tribulations that he's dealt with. We will get into that in detail with Jordan Plant later on. But with Edward Ortiz, he claimed from a stylistic standpoint, he feels that Vidal throws wild and leaves himself susceptible to be countered. You know, I think he's confident in his experience in the ring, both amateur and pro. And, and we can see right now that he wants to control the ring and keep it right there in the center. In the center. Uh, he, he's not going to be on the ropes, and you're not going to see him using the, the whole ring. He doesn't need to against Vidal. Just over the halfway mark of the first round. Sean, you have fought in the bubble. This is Ortiz's second straight fight in the bubble. How much of a, you know, in terms of getting accustomed to, is it important to be able to dive into that? You just, you just gotta tap into something a little different. You know, other people, most fights, you gotta tap into a loud crowd and, and drown it out. Here, you gotta tap, tap into um, listening to your inner self a little bit more than you have the opportunity to when there's fans in the stands. Ortiz feels that's going to be a big advantage against Vidal because he's coming off of a win on your card, August 22, a split decision win over Antonio Tan. I agree. Uh, there are a lot of people, think of it like this, a lot of people are comfortable alone, and when they hear noise, it makes them uncomfortable, but in here, it's the uh, complete opposite. But when you're doing sports, it's the opposite. You got you to gotta be used to people making a lot of noise, so now... Not hearing much. I'm sure they're hearing us right now. That's not something that they're used to. A left hook to the body by Vidal. Just makes things a little different. Ortiz. Are you surprised that Ortiz is staying in the range of Vidal right now? Yeah. There's a left hook that connected by Vidal followed by a left hook to the body. Yeah, I, I like Ortiz to keep him on the end of the jab and not lean in the way that he is. There's a right hand that backs up Ortiz, driving him, or driving him to the ropes. Final moments of the first. Ortiz, what does he have to do? And we will get into that a little bit later, but I think Ortiz, you mentioned it, Sean, that he needs to use his jab and keep his distance. Yeah, and he came out in the very first round, the beginning of the very first round, using it, and then he went away from it, started to stand in there and lean in. Get comfortable. Keep the guy on the end of the jab and try to set something up from there. Well, typically in prize fighting, the first few rounds are the feeling out process. And I think we saw that out of Vidal. He threw power, but he was more selective with his punch output. I agree. I think both guys were using that first round just to kind of get on, you know. And I think that now Vidal is seeing that Ortiz is willing to stand there. So he's going to try to try to throw that, that straight right like he did. Well, the win for Edward Ortiz over Antonio Todd was a confidence booster because he told us in fighter meetings that, look, Vidal has fought uh, limited opposition. He went as far as to say he's fought cab drivers. I have yeah. fought the higher level of opponent. Yeah, it, it, and, I, and I expect uh, Ortiz's experience to show up tonight. He's going to be able to make some moves, keep Vidal on his toes and make a miss. It's all about him capitalizing Ortiz. You mentioned that experience. Ortiz has 58 rounds under his belt compared to just 30 for Vidal. Yeah, it makes a difference, especially when you got professional rounds under your belt. But again, Ortiz has a pretty extensive amateur background as well, winning some open national tournaments. Some open national tournaments I didn't even win. Well, that's impressive to be able to go ahead and do that. He just started boxing in his late teens, did Edward Ortiz. From San Antonio knows Mario Barrios and that nice lady. There's a big right hand that shook him up. He's not going on the attack, trying to finish off Edward Ortiz. Heavy power shot to the green. He's unloading upon Edward Ortiz. A big right hand. He is wobbled. Eddie Hernandez Sr. watching the action.
that's a that's a fighter there. That's a fighter. Right. Vidal, now not going to stop. He's calling. He's making sure that referee came in to stop that fight. He wasn't going to stop punching until either Ortiz went down or the referee stepped in. Ortiz had never been down in his career, and Vidal went on the attack. He had him hurt, and he closed the show in emphatic fashion. And it's funny, be trying to survive, and that's what he needed to do right there. He needed to grab him and hold on to Vidal, but he wasn't able to. It was the big right hand over the top, which signaled the end of the night. But look at the selection and overwhelming Ortiz by Vidal. Overwhelming them. Uh, wide left hooks and wide right hands. I think those were punches that Ortiz said he would throw. And, and unfortunately, he got caught with a lot of them tonight. Also, he had compact punches as well, Sean, in that exchange as we take a look at that overhand right. Yeah, the overhand right is really short and compact. I like the word you use right there. Compact just outside of the right hand, the glove that Ortiz has up, protecting the inside of his face, but not wide enough to block the shots that Vidal was, was delivering. What I like about Vidal, too, is when he had him hurt, he just started emptying out the tank, and he was unloading in machine gun-like bursts. No hesitation. <laughs> no hesitation, no surrender. And and that's what uh, Vidal went for. He saw it, and he went for it, and he did not stop. I'm, I'm impressed with him tonight. It's a short fight, two rounds, but I'm impressed with what I saw. Here's the finish right here. Big right hand. I, I knew that that would be the big punch for him, but smart enough to know that he, he needs to use both hands to open up Ortiz to get the big stoppage right here where the referee's going to stop step in eventually. He was hitting him in stereo. With Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at 1 minute 58 seconds of the second round for your winner by knockout and still undefeated from Uruguay, Amilcar P.